Hey there, welcome to another video. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting one here. Uh, had a tournament today on Medina, and uh, as some of you might know, my boat here has not been operating properly, the big main engine. So I uh, actually decided to fish this tournament with just the trolling motor, that little front electric trolling motor there. I decided to fish it with uh, my nephew, actually. And uh, it was a very, very interesting tournament, like I said, so. Go ahead and give it a watch and see how this one turns out. How deep is it right here? Eight feet. Oh! Dang it! Now Missed your bait. Was ready for that. Mm -hmm. Go over there again, hurry up. If he's still excited. Definitely coming for it. Golly. That was a nice little blow up. Slow down just a little bit. Dang it, man. That was a nice little blow up. That was probably at least a keeper. Mm-hmm. They're busting around us. Definitely fish around. Oh, golly. That was a fish. I just missed one. The only reason why we're missing them is because Bob's getting us ready to get the bigger one. <laughs> Hopefully. I like that attitude. Golly, I want these guys to get out of here. I want these guys to get out of here. There's people fishing right here on the point. Fish. Little guy. Dang it. Oh, come on. Oh. No. Dang it. That was kind of a stupid hook set, man. I'm in a bad position. I should have should have been a little more patient before I set the hook. And got my position better. Don't think it was a good one. I think it was a little one, but still, would have liked to have seen him. Golly, starting out missing a lot more fish than we're catching. There you go. Fish. I think I have a tiny little fish on here. Yeah, I do. Tiny little bass. Come on, man. One of those little guys has got to turn into a good one, though. One of these times, right? Come on. Ooh. Oh! Got him, got him, got him. Pull, pull. Keep your rod high, keep your rod high, keep your rod high. That's a good fish. Keep, keep tension, keep tension. Oh, wow. It's not that good of a fish, actually. Is it working? It's, yeah, I don't even know. That crushed it, dude. Now that one wanted it. Hold on, hold on, we're gonna measure it down there. Man, I don't think he's gonna be 14 inches. That our ghetto little measuring board here, because we don't have one. He's not gonna be 14, though. Yeah. No. 13 and a half. Dude, Biggest are you kidding me? <laughs> that little guy is the one that smashed it like that? Holy cow. Okay, well, remember where that was though, look. Right by a dock. Next to the light though. Little, no, I don't mean the spot. I know where the spot is. We're not gonna come back and get another fish here, I'm saying. For pattern purposes. You know what I mean by that? By pattern? I mean, yeah, like another, another place they might be in because of where that one was. So that fish is by a dock with a little rock ridge coming by it. If you'd have missed that fish, I would have sworn that was at least a two or three pounder. <laughs> Oop. Nope. Little guy. They get smaller, not bigger. It's not good. See if anything's over there. Cast over the top of you. We'll wait for you to get further back and I'll start reeling. 
Ooh, fish. Good fish. Get the net, get the net, get the net. I think it's a good one anyway. Oh no, it's not. Dang it. Dang it, man. That fish smashed it. Ooh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Golly, man. We're trying to help you while we're not trying to help you. <laughs> Right. Actually, I was trying to capture you at first. If you were bigger, I would have put you in my live well. But you're not. Walking in. <laughs> huh? Oop, fish. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good one. I think for real this time it is. Ah, it's not. No, don't worry about it. Golly, how in the world? How big is that? Not 40 inches again. Golly, man. That is crazy. That fish again freaking smashed it. Right after I started reeling it too, it was right under the surface. Is. Nah. Don't even think it's a keeper. Oh, he might be. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. It's a keeper for sure. Way over 14. <laughs> hey, we got us a keeper. Another. Flying like it's on a jet ski. What? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> a little fish came up and ate it right there. Shouldn't have set the hook. I knew he wasn't even a keeper. Messed up my bait is all I did. But came up right out of that tree. That's the two things that are definite patterns right now is out of these little bushes and off of the little docks. Don't forget that our two best bites have been off the docks and then a lot of other bites have been around these little stick ups. So it seems to be the two patterns right now, at least where the bait fish and some of the smaller bass are hanging. Still haven't really run into a good one yet, but I think we will before the day's up here. gonna have to just exactly what um i think that keeps for sure though actually yeah. it's going over a little bit i mean either way we're gonna keep it but because we can keep them and measure them on the the official board when we get over there it's a coal ring so that hopefully later when we catch bigger ones i know which one to let go well there's two keepers when you step, try not to be. Try to step lightly. Probably most of them haven't. Oh, dang it! What? Golly, that might have been a good one too. Oh, it was know. pulling pretty good. I made a bad cast, <laughs> or I tried to make a cast under here, like that. Picking out my backlash and the freaking fish ate it. Golly. Felt it didn't feel real small either. Golly, man. I didn't even think this was that good of a dock, honestly. It was just the only one here. But I mean, shoot, maybe that's what's so good about it. It's the only dock here for so long. It's like it's the only piece of structure they got to hang around. Probably exactly what it is. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off your whopper plopper here too though. And I'm gonna tie on a a wacky rig Cinco probably to throw by these docks. 
because that was just letting it float down. I hadn't even jerked my bait yet. I literally casted it, it hit the edge of the dock, I was picking out my backlash, and when I reeled the slack, he was on there. Or I might be working this a little bit too fast, actually. I might need to slow it down just a touch. Or actually, no, maybe not a wacky rig, maybe. Because that's even lighter than that bait you were throwing earlier. So maybe just that jig head, and then I'll put a little, uh, put a tiny little uh, four inch Cinco on it. Yeah, we're gonna do that real quick. Before we hit any more docks, I wanna tie that on real quick for you. Not a jacket, it's a long sleeve shirt. It's supposed to be for fishing, it's a sun shirt. You got one? Oh no. You missed him? I felt him. Dang it. I felt him grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you had one. Dude. Heck yeah. I should have looked at your bay after you said you missed that fish. That's all tore up. Well, my spin <sighs> Kind of like you just stomped on that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Keeper. Are you trying to assault me? I will sue you. Okay. You're welcome for the worst jokes in the world. Yeah. Oh. Got him. I think it's a good one. Nope, it's not. Dang it. I don't know why. Thought oh, yeah, it was a keeper. I saw him shoot up out of there and eat it too. That was cool. Dang it. Thought it was a keeper. Thought it was a keeper. But it is not. What time is it? 10.36. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep going around to the next thing. I don't think we're going to double back and fish what we already fished. Oh, oh look. Hurry, reel it up real quick. Pitch one right over here. Look at this tree right here. Just throw it right to the left side of that dock. little guy dang it come on man where are the good ones at man this dude on the kayak is freaking going right down this bank now too he probably doesn't realize that all we have is a trolling motor but that kind of stinks now he's fishing ahead of us I just broke my freaking line. A what? A fish. Freaking set the hook and broke it broke it off. What in the I haven't broke a fish off in forever, and that's two now. Broken off in practice at Amistad and I broke one off just now. Amistad. Golly. Hung where? Okay. Flip over. You gonna go get it. Ah. Oh, another fish. Oh, I missed him. Oh, and there's another one under there, too. Did you see that? Hold on a second. We're not going to get that right now. Golly. The one I missed looked small, but the second one that came out looked like it might have been a keeper. I missed the fish. My bait came out of his mouth. And another one came and tried to eat it. Now they don't want, don't want anything to do with it. How do they go from that fired up to just not even want to look at it? Oh, there's one underneath of it. Come on. Oh, yep. Got him. Come on, be 14 inches, please. Gosh, I don't think it is, though. He's just... He's so fat, I thought he was close, but I don't think he is. Yeah, no, he's not going to be close. Nope. Same as mine. Yep. About 13 and a half. Look how fat, though. Golly, I wish that fish kept. Well, that was interesting, except for, gosh, pretty sure that one I broke off was a good one. 
you usually break off on small fish. Re usually the reason you break off is it's a big one pulling really hard or they just swallowed it so deep in his big old mouth that it cuts on his teeth when you set the hook. Oh, got him. No! Golly, he smashed it. What? How do they smash that waffle plopper like that and not get stuck? Golly. That was a good bite, man. Come oh, come on. That looked like a better fish. Oh. What the? Broke my line again. And that wasn't a good fish. It was a smaller one. Good thing I saw it. So I didn't think I broke off a big one. But what the? What is going on right now? I don't know, but I'm switching. I am switching rods. I am not going to keep throwing it on that line. It's breaking. It's two breaks. I'm done with that for now. Hey, get up here to throw that. Stand up here to throw that. Stand up here to throw that. Remember, you get it further away from the boat. You better angles too. When you're back there, it's harder to, to cast with me. The angle is weird. It's actually easier when we're closer together. And you get your bait. Oop. There's a keeper. Further away from the boat is what I was gonna say. There's a good one finally. Decent one. Huh? No, no, no. We do not need to measure that one. That's a decent one. That's all I was saying. It's finally a decent fish. You got the sucker hard. Definitely would have come off even if you tried. Mm -hmm. Hold on to him very tight. Very tight. Just put him in the same side. Oh my gosh. They just started busting everywhere right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, look. They're everywhere. I know. What the heck? Oh, oh, gosh, oh, oh, I don't know if they're bass though, they might be stripers. Are they stripers or bass? I can't tell. Oh my gosh, they're freaking everywhere. You got one? Oh, he just threw it. Oh, where's your bait? Are you even hit? Yes, sir, you mean. Where's your bait at? Right there, you see it? No. Right. Where? Right there. Oh, no. Okay. Oh my Still gosh. Oh it. my gosh. Oh, got him. No. They are stripers though. They're stripers, but we're still gonna try to have some fun with them. <laughs> it doesn't even matter about the fish trying to Oh wait, there's bass in there too. I don't know if it's a bass or not, but I saw a bass in there too. Yep, this is a bass. Nice. Keep casting, there's bass in there too. No, this one's not going to go either. Oh, that's, that's right Gosh, just everywhere right now. Bust shad like crazy. Oh, got one. Gone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it a bass? Yeah, I don't know either. Just keep it on. Keep it on. Don't reel too hard. All right, stop, stop. Uh, he's in smoke. Oh, no, that might be a keeper. Crap. Oh. Crap, crap, crap. I don't know what I'm thinking, dude. I thought it was a, a bass? I thought it was a small one. I'm gonna get this out. Oh my gosh, hurry, keep casting. It's a keeper too, I'm pretty darn sure. Oh my gosh. Got, got another one? Yeah. Okay, 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 keep him on, keep him on. I don't know if this one's it's a little guy, right? Okay. The green one is super super close. Let's try to remember that. Dude, he started going crazy. Oh, got him. You got him. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Little? Oh, yeah. I think he was little, though. Just keep casting. Hurry, hurry. Oh, oh my God. Dude, they're just everywhere in here. Hurry. Yeah, go. Just get, get to where you can cast to them. Yeah, I know they're not wanting to eat my flapping shed or my oh, I got one. caffeine shed real well. Is it a good one? 
Oh, I got one too. Oh, mine came off. Dang it. I know. Is he little or good? He's little. Oh, that's a striper. Yeah. You come off? Okay, hurry. Go out there again. Just keep going. Keep going. Ow, sucker stuck me. Okay. Keep casting while they're going crazy. Try to keep an eye out for the bass too. Oh yeah, these are bass right here close to us. Oh. Oh golly. I think I'm getting freaking stripers to eat my. Oh golly, that sounded like a good one. If it wasn't a striper. Oh my god, dude, they're going crazy in here. Well, there's bait out here. I can see it. There's little. Oh. Golly! Oh, oh, there's a good one. Uh, I don't know if he's good or not. I don't think he's a keeper though. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Oh, they're mine just now. Close your mouth. Oh, wait. That is a keeper. Easy. What am I saying? I know what I said. Nice. Oh. All right, watch out, dude. Watch oh, out. Oh yeah, I got one. I got one. All right, watch your leg. Oh, I think this is a keeper. Okay. No, it's not. Flip them up. I'll get them unhooked. Okay, well, if that one goes 14 inches, we have five now. Wow, this one's actually closer than I thought, too. How much is that? It's like 13 and a half, but oh, wow. not a keeper, but closer than I thought. Let me keep on casting right Yeah, yeah, just keep just keep casting. They could come up again like that at any second. A... Oh, I got one. Got him? Oh. Good one? Yeah, no. No, little guy? Okay, hurry. Flip them up. Stop reeling. Flip them up. Thing, yep. Right? Yep. Striper. Little white bass, probably. Your lighting's hanged up. Okay. And now, now that they've calmed down a little bit, I'm going to switch to a topwater on this rod in case they start coming up again. Yeah. No, yeah. You keep doing what you're doing. I'm just switching to a walking topwater. It, it's all right. We're, we're gonna, I think what we're going to do is we're going to hang around here for a while. They were not busting like that when we were coming up here, so they just started all of a sudden. I don't want to hit my trolling motor too much either, though, because that can kind of scare them sometimes. That's why I wasn't I wasn't touching the trolling motor the whole time right there when we were getting bit, because I didn't want to spook them. We're going to spend quite a while, I think, just chilling right here. We don't have a whole lot of time left. It's already, what, 12.30. Going to be back to the freaking boat by, or back to the ramp by 3 o'clock. Under trolling motor power only, that's going to take a little while, so... <laughs> Dude, that was crazy! It's a good thing we had baits ready to throw on them, too. Oh! It's just busted right out here. It's a good thing we had baits ready to, to throw on them they wanted to eat, too. Because if we had to rig up and stuff, we probably would have been screwed. Oh! Oh! Lost him? Yep. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Golly, I think the one that. Yeah, I think the one that I missed was though. He kept following it, but my bait was all messed up. Oh, golly, that fish blasted it. Golly, man. I think the one that ate mine was a keeper. Oop. Oh, golly. Yeah, they don't. They don't really seem to want to come up and eat this thing though, or go down and eat this thing. Whatever. I don't know. Just don't really want to eat that little worm. What? That crankbait? Yeah. Nah. I mean, it might work, but I don't. I don't like really like throwing a crankbait. Oop. For schooling fish, I don't know what kind of fish this is. Uh, uh, do you want me to get the net? Nope. Don't know if it's 14 inches. Golly, tearing up my baits, man. Maybe. I don't know, we gotta get them on a bump board, that's what I'm saying, that's why you need something to bump their nose against, really. Fish just busted out, y'all, let's see. Oh, and that guy's over there on a kayak. Oop. Nah, I don't tear up my bait. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Well, if he's not close, it's whatever, yeah. Hey, push off, push off the back. I didn't realize we were on there. Dock like that. Oh, 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 missed the 
another one. Golly, dude, there is a ton of fish out here. I think this is a little better one, too. I don't know. It's thick, but he's short. Oh, look, see that little minnow he just threw up? Look. Right here. <laughs> Teeny tiny. Oh, wait. Here, give me the deal. I think he's a keeper. Ah. Nope. That's a little short. Golly, yep. About 13 and three quarters, but it's so fat. All the little short fat ones are not going 14 inches. I'm literally just gonna let the back of the boat float up against the bank and we're just gonna throw out this point. Cause these fish are still sitting down there and they're eating my, they're eating my uh, caffeine chat even when I'm not seeing them bust. I'm forced to switch over to this other color, baby bass, since I don't have any more of those clearish shad colors. I really like that clear shad type jerk bait, but tore all of those up today. Pack and a half worth. Didn't go buy any more because I didn't think I was going to go through that many baits today, but golly. I guess I better always be ready for that. Oh, we hit it right by the boat. Is it a good one or no? Got to catch this one. Oh, nope. A little. So how many fish do you think we caught now? <laughs> 25, 30? Yeah. Not even close on that one. Oh, I've got a bait that you might want to throw. You want to throw like a, a jerk bait like I'm throwing, but a, a hard one with uh, treble hooks on it? You've never thrown it before, but I'm I'll throw it on. It, but I don't want to switch up with it. Yeah, I know. I'm going to put it on your other rod. Yeah. Here, here you go. There was fish chasing all the way up to the bank right here just now. Oh yeah, hurry, cast him, cast him. Yeah, he looked a little but oh no, there's a good one in there. Oh yeah, They're coming up again. Oh, that's a good one right there. You got one? You missed him. I heard it. Yeah. Hurry, hurry, hurry. They're coming up like crazy again. Oh my gosh. What time is it? How long do we have to do this? It's almost one o'clock. Uh, yeah, but we might just fish till two and then just use the trolling motor all the way back if they keep doing this. Oh, oh no, I missed him! Dang it! Oh no, I didn't. I got him. Crap! I thought he came off. Keep, oh. keep fishing. Keep fishing. I think I this is a good one too. I think this is a keeper. Oh, I'm not sure. Gosh, some of these are so thick. They look good. Oh, he. He literally grabbed it. Alright, don't break your rod, don't break your rod. Be careful. I didn't even mean to do that. I know, I know. Oh wow. This one's 14. Nice. This one's 14 for sure. So still green and orange are the two really close ones, okay? You know what's funny? Oh, golly. Do you have it? I don't know gonna say you know what's funny is this is exactly how they just won a Bassmasters tournament a Bassmasters tournament all the leaders were doing pretty much kind of what we we're doing right now they were just finding fish schooling out in the middle and throwing uh, top waters and jerk baits to them <laughs> that's what like everybody was doing at Lake Hartwell Wait! Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Keep surprising me when I put these fish up. Wow. That one's 14 easy. Okay. I want to throw it. You should try throwing over there right now. I know. There's two of them. Oh, oh! Nice. He's a little guy. Careful, careful, careful. He was little. Yeah. Keep an eye out. Try to. Try to relocate them. Oh, yep, they're over there again. 
I was just about to say we're getting further this way than they were earlier. Oh my god, there they are going crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're not going to get there in time for them to still be busting, but that's obviously where the groups move out to. Oh my gosh, look at them. Get your top water ready. Ooh, ooh. Like a decent one. Ah. Golly. Just gonna throw it out and let it sink. Screw it. Yep. Ah. Dang it. Ate it and messed it up. Oh my gosh. We're going nuts again. They're going nuts like when we first saw them. Gosh. They're not wanting to eat my my little caffeine chat right now though for some reason. Actually, keep that locked and loaded. Throw the jerk bait through right now. Oh, come on. I don't know, he's pulling kind of hard. No, no, no. Golly. Just a little sucker fighting freaking hard. Golly. Super close, but we already got a couple super close ones. Well, shoot, I don't know, I don't know, because he's really fat though. There's some more. Yellow, orange, and green. Yellow, orange, green. That's our close ones. Oh, oh! I saw him come from the side, that was cool. Oh, oh! No, he just keeps smashing it. It's a little guy, but. Dude, this is insane! Is this the best day of fishing you've ever had? <laughs> is this the best day of fishing you've ever had by far? <laughs> yeah, by far or no? <laughs> I think it's yes, but I'm not sure. Oh, oh. oh! That one smashed it! No. Please be a good one. Yeah, no. Get, get it, get it. I, I don't care if it's even a small one. <laughs> this one's a behemoth. <laughs> oh, oh! oh. We got him. Yep, bad net job, but I got him. Oh, no, there's no way he can't be 14 inches. No, that's 14 easy, I think. I'm going to see how big he is. Close your mouth, dude. Close your mouth. Oh, yeah, he's 14 and a half. Yeah. Woo! Hey, buddy. That yes. was a good one. Nice catch, dude. Why are the weights off? This, uh, oh, the basket. Yeah. I forgot the basket. So the basket weighs exactly three pounds. Yeah. And this weighs one point six four uh, from zero. Yeah. So I gotta add one point six four to all the weights. Yeah. Who is this? Bill Hardy. Bill Hardy. Yeah. I came uh, and left. He gave me his forty dollars. Uh, okay. Matt Rigby. Oh, okay. Fish by himself? He fish with his Oh, okay, okay. You got five, Jack? Yeah, five. What'd you guys get? Two. Jack caught three five. limits today. Three limits? You pulled? Yeah, how many times? Cold three or four. Actually cold, but had a whole bunch of barely keepers, too. Nice. Right, so. <laughs> Jeez. With no outboard. I know, I should have took off my outboard and came out here. 577. 577. Plus one six four, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry about the uh, basket. The basket that I usually bring that I didn't bring today weighs exactly uh, two point eight six or whatever it is. Um, so what I did is we're gonna add the weight of this basket 
So everybody's weight is going to add 1.64. Okay, I'm going to give you the weights that, that read, and then later on I'm going to add the 164 when I post it on the uh, web page. All right. First so place. <laughs> so five bigger. fish. 5.77. Goes to JR and his partner for oh, $450. Yeah. Go get it. Come on. No Isaac, go get it. No motor. And no motor. And no motor. Yeah. 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 That was interesting. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what was our excuse, uh, Tim? <laughs> we had a motor. <laughs> we had a motor. <laughs> Moving around too much. There's a total of 741 y'all had. Cool. Yep. How'd y'all catch him? Uh, mostly on a uh, caffeine chad. Okay. And then he had a couple on a uh, whopper plopper. Nice. Yep. All top water fishing? Yep. Water I caught, caught a bunch on crankbait in the morning, but none of them made our bag, I don't think. Nice, nice. Uh, yep. Cool. And bushes or? Uh, bushes is where we saw a lot of the bait actually was the weird thing, but that's not where the fish were it seemed like. It seemed like yeah. the fish were in weird spots, honestly, and then and then docks. Yeah. yeah. Bet how, definitely around docks. How far did y'all venture out? Uh, we, we got over to, uh, uh, that's actually where we did the majority of our damage over there. Yep. Nice. Good job. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for breaking my heart, Greg. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you. Second place. Goes to uh, West Stickles and Logan Crow. Four fish for 5.36 plus 1.64. 724. 724. 724. So he just beat him by a little. <laughs> yep. Good job, man. You catch him. Uh, David Rushhart for the junior Rushhart. Junior Rushhart. Nice. Um, also wood. So inside the coast, wherever there was wood inside the coast, yeah. that's where we found our business. Nice. All right. Third place. Yeah, like, like, early. $170 uh, $470 uh, 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 Five fish goes to Jesse and Gibby, 505 $669, alright He was like, $170 And I was like, this only comes from the city Alright, nobody else wants to clap, alright, we're cool <laughs> Thank you. In the middle, of the yeah. Yeah. I had my left throwing a like a bluegill color swim jig. Uh -huh. Man, it, it was my confidence bait. Throwing it in trees, banging it off of rocks, treating it like a square bill. I was doing everything with that thing. And, uh, and it, it, they hit it, so. Nice. Yeah. 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 Alright, big bass. For $120. For $338. Goes to Stanley Barnes. $120. Oh, oh, well, that's actually a large one. Large. Did y'all catch them all? Super Hawks. What? Four Super Hawks. Super Hawks. That's interesting. I don't know. Super hot. Super hot. Oh, okay. That's instead of. What color? Tentacles. Nice. What color? Oh, watermelon seed. Cool, cool. 